Who's responsible for Benghazi? Who carried out that attack? I would say properly defined, it's Al-Qaeda. And that's whether it was ordered from Al-Qaeda senior leadership or was a decision made in a decentralized fashion from Al-Qaeda's leadership in North Africa. Either way, it's Al-Qaeda. Um, and when you look at all the actors involved, if you, when you pull the threads on Benghazi, okay, of all the different parties that come together on that night to execute that terrorist attack, they all have one thing in common. Every thread leads back to a known Al-Qaeda operative or known pro-Al-Qaeda organization, every single one of them. What you see are these known Al-Qaeda actors, okay, guys who go back decades, whose pedigree within the Al-Qaeda world goes back decades, really building up their cadre of supporters. Okay? They're training fighters, they're establishing training camps, they're basically pushing their agenda forward inside Libya. And really there's been no check on that. And you know, we, can, we do work with the Libyan government, the U.S. government does, um, but it's not anything that can stop that. Okay? Why do we allow this to happen? Why does the U.S., why does the West stand by and allow this to happen? I think there's a lot of reasons. I think there's, there's pretty much this intellectual confusion about what Al-Qaeda is and how it operates. You know, wh one of the things I talk about a lot is that we still define here in the U.S. and the West, we still define Al-Qaeda as a terrorist organization. We think, you know, big spectacular terrorist attacks are what they're all about. Um, they do do that. They are a terrorist organization. But they're much more than that. They're political revolutionaries, okay, who use terrorism as a tactic. And when you properly understand them in those terms, you realize that they have designs on Libya. They have designs on Syria. They have designs on Yemen, Somalia, and other countries. They want to take control. They want power for themselves. That's a very different dynamic than somebody who's just interested in flying planes into buildings.